If I can do it on myself, you guys have to learn it too. Ladies, you guys are trying. Oh my god, this is the first time I'm actually putting glue on my head. My head. On my body. Mm. Mufasa. Mufasa. Hi guys, I'm Black. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Louis Iwefo. If this is your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. So here on this channel, I create hair content, lifestyle and vlog. So if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to do that before you leave. And also don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up. Like my other videos, watch them, share them with your friends. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So you always be notified whenever I post a video. So this is like a highly requested video. A lot of people have asked me to do a video on how to install Frontal on yourself. So I'm going to be leaving you guys with easy steps on how to do that. So if this sounds like something that might interest you, please keep on watching. It's the hair I'm going to be using for today's video. It's one of the hair I used for a model before. I actually used it to shoot for a virtual class. So this is the hair. It's been used already and it's from Blue Meat on Instagram. So I'm going to leave um, the link to their Instagram in the description below so you guys can go check them out. Um, the main purpose for this video is to actually show you guys how to use a wig that has been cut before. So you know when your hairstylist do the first installation they cut out the lace and do everything so you're left with the lace already cut like this. So how do you intend to do that? So but don't worry I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Just sit back relax and enjoy the rest of this video you guys i'm going to be using the nab lace tint in chocolate so the reason i'm using chocolate is because i'm dark skinned so this is like a perfect shade for people who are on the same tone with me so it can just blend into it and give it this you know realistic look so i'm just going to go um in with the tint like this and just spray so once I'm done spraying, I'm going to just allow it to sit for a while while I, you know, do other things. So this is really not necessary, but I still want to show you guys because I care about you all. So we're going to start with balding. So a lot of you don't know what balding is, but I'm still going to explain it so we can have knowledge about what balding means and why you do balding. So balding is when you put the sock scalp on your hair. You understand me, right? <laughs> so one of the main reasons for doing balding is to protect your hairline. So you guys can see I look, my, I have hairs all over me like a gorilla. So I still want my hair. I want to keep my hair. I don't want my hairline all gone after this video. So first, we're going to protect that hairline. Then secondly, Balding helps like accentuate the scalp. It gives it this scalp look. So when you section the hair, it makes it look more realistic. It makes it look like they're actually seeing your scalp, but it's not your scalp. So let's dive right into it. So now I'm going to take off my glasses, so it will be very easy. So I hope this light don't turn me to a blind person. So um, first off, I have my edge brush and a got to be spray with a got to be gel so usually i advise people not to use like the got to be gel when they're doing um like proper glue installation because um, most times we are really in a hurry to like put the whole thing and go so it might not last because of the gel so this is um because the gel is liquid and liquid and adhesive they don't play together so the only way it can work like this is after using the gel, you have to use your hand dryer and make sure it's properly dried. So I'm still going to show you guys in this video. So the first step, I'm going to press out my gel and then apply it. So I'm trying to follow my hairline. So because I actually want to give this 
realistic look. I don't want to fake the hairline, I just want to follow my hairline. So I'm just going to apply the glue, sorry, the gel, like so. So once I'm done, I'm going to spray the Got To Be Spray on my edge brush and then follow it up like so. Mm. See me looking all scruffy all the time. But if I, if I do my hair like this all the time, ah, uh -uh, the sexy mother. <laughs> Sorry guys. So just push in the edges because I don't want to lose my hair after this video. I'm going to get my hand dryer and then dry it. So for the dryer, I like to use cold air to do this because it helps to like protect the hair from, you know, any damage. So I'm going to be using my got to be spray now on this part because I have so much hair on this part so I really want it to lay down flat. So I'm just going to spray. And then get my dryer. So I don't know if you guys can see the effects. You can see the hair is really laying down flat. So I'm going to do for this other side. So let's do for here. So I'm going to get the sock scarf. So this is the one I'm using today. I'm just going to wear it like this. So now you guys, this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to follow my hairline. Remember I said I want this whole thing to be more realistic. So we're following the hairline. So I'm just going to spray on where my hairline started from and then dry it all up. So let me pull this down a bit. So I can't really see. <laughs> so let me open this carefully. And this too. So I'm going to use my spray now. So now I'm going to get my hand dryer and then dry it up. So when you when you feel it's not really stained, I advise you spray again on the part you feel is not stained and then dry it. So guys, we're going to take out this part, like just tear out the net, the, the cap, not my ear. We're not taking out my ear. <laughs> so let's carefully do this. So I might end up not putting glue on this part because of my hair. Okay, we're done with drying, so I'm going to cut out the excess um, net. So I'm just, like I said, we're following the hairline. So let's cut. So if I'm cutting, I'm going to do like, um, like, I don't know if it's up to an inch, but slightly away from the hairline. So we're going to start from here now.
So here we have it. So I'm going to tone the cap. So this is the powder I'm using. It's from Heraven Gold. So we're going to be using this one because I, I think this one matches my skin tone. So I'm going to tone the socks cap like so. Really, I like to focus on the the hairline where we cut out the cap. Okay, so we're done with balding now. Next step is prepping the skin. Okay guys, I, I, I'm going to be prepping my skin now first before the installation. So the reason why it's always advisable to prep your skin because some of us were allergic to some products and because we're using an adhesive, we don't want it to like damage the skin. So we're going to start by cleaning the skin first to take out all the dirt, every residue that is resting on the hair, so on the skin rather. So I'm going to use my wipes. So this is a regular wipe, you can get any wipe. I usually don't advise people to like use alcohol because I believe alcohol tends to like open your pores and then you can now start sweating. It's going to make that part really harsh. So that's why I don't like to use alcohol. I just use a wipe, the regular wipe, because it's just so soothing to the skin and it's so, it's just so tender. So I'm going to wipe out the spots because I mean, my powder fell on my face, so you guys can see. I'm going to also clean this other part. I mean, Kukuma is the opportunity and clean the aurora on my face, so. We'll clean this. So now I'm going to get a, a clean wipe. I'll be using this um, skin spray from Love Beauty. So just press it in, press it in. Yeah. So while we're waiting for this to dry up, I'm going to get the hair and then dry it and then use the hot comb on the front so it can be really easy for me to work with. Okay, that's it. So I'm going to be using my hot comb. Okay, so, uh, skin protectant spray has dried into my skin. So now I'm going to be applying the adhesive. So before I start, I like to clean the comb and also clean the, shall I call it the nozzle from the glue. So I don't know if you guys noticed, I shook this glue before I cleaned. So you can clean and also cover it and then shake it. So always shake your adhesive before you use it. So when it comes to application, I'm a very, very tiny application person. I don't like to do so much, even when I am working on my clients. So we just follow up like this, so you guys can see how it's looking. It's not too much. So we're going to start by spreading it out. So usually when I am doing a client's hair, I like to do like two to three applications. But for today's video, we're going to do just two applications because I still will take out this hair today. So let's 
spread this out. Um, one thing I notice when you're doing your application, when you do small amount of um, glue, it clears faster. You guys can see this part is already clearing. So small amount, preferable. So that's what I do. So then if you want like a stronger grip, instead of staying here from here to here, I advise you extend it from where you started from actually and you extend it into the bolt cap so you have like one and a half inch so this will help the hair like stay down firmly that's what i believe oh my god this is the first time i'm actually putting glue on my head my head on my body, on my skin. So, and I hope it's going to come out well. I've never done front hour myself before. This is a challenge. I'm challenging myself to do this and also show you guys. I mean, if I can do it on myself, you guys have to learn it though. So that, you know, during the first few periods, most of us hairstylists were not always around. So, and I know people would have um, events. So if you don't want to go with your hair undone, this video is definitely for you. So we're going to allow it clear on its own. No heat, no dryer. So just allow it clear on its own. So, um, as you can see, the glue has cleared. So I'm going to now get the hair and then put it. So but first, I'm going to get my powder palette and then follow my nose just to make sure I get the middle of my head. So this is a flat brush. So I think because I'm dark, I'm going to go with a lighter shade so that um, I'll be able to see what I am doing. So I'm just going to follow it like this from here and then go up and then mark it on this spot. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly. So now I can tell where the half of my face is you get so now let me wear the wig so i'm not bringing it too forward first i just wore it halfway like this so i'm going to carefully adjust the head to where i want you to start from then now um, press down Mufasa, Mufasa. <laughs> I look like Mufasa. So I'm going to carefully press down with my comb. Like I'm not applying so much pressure on it. So just like that. So now this is actually not looking real. So I want to cut it to my own, you know, um, what's the word? To look more like my kidney. So I'm going to take out the hair like this and chop off the lace from here. So there we go. So we still have to fill in, fill up this part with glue so it can stay down. I don't know if you guys can see it. 
So let me get my control pin. So before I do that, I'm going to mark it. So I can actually tell where to put my glue. So you guys can see, I'm going to get the glue, hold it up with my um, control pin. And then put the adhesive. So when I put it, I'm going to spread just like we did earlier. So I'm trying to wipe my comb. I'm going to mark this one first, just like we did earlier. So we know where we're putting our glue. So you lift up, lift it up, and then adhesive. So let's allow it clear before we put or apply the frontal. So once I'm done, I'm going to then get my elastic band Ladies, you guys are trying. I, I can't. I can't stand the hairs on my face. I think I have to blow out these hairs on my face. Okay. So let's put this down and then comb it backward. So let me just hold it down hold it with my control pin like this it can be really easy for me to tie So I'm going to use my hot comb to flatten the hair. So you guys, it's time to curl. So we're going to be curling the hair. So but before that, I'm going to get my wax stick. So this wax stick is also from Love Beauty and I'm going to be using it on my hair on the head. <laughs> that sounded strange. So I just like to distribute little amount of the wax all over and then I'm going to get my hot comb again and then take everything backward. So because you're doing this on yourself, you have to be extremely careful. So you don't roast your skin. So I'm actually doing from here to here because I have beard here. So I don't want to, like I said, I'm not putting glue on my beard. So that's why I'm concentrating on this part, like from here to here. So you guys can see my, my hot comb is smoking hot so before we start curling I'm going to be using my 
argan oil so this argan oil is a lightweight oil if you if you know me too well you know i've been using this for years and i like to use it because it's lightweight and it's so soothing for the hair so after using the argan oil on the hair i'm going to get my tresemme heat protectant spray and then spray in the hair So afterwards, I'm going to just run my hairbrush so that when I want to start curling or when I'm curling, it's going to be very easy for me to work with. So now, before I start curling, I'm going to put my melt spray and then tie it one last time. So let's get, let's get the control pin and pin it down. So I'm going to take out this one and then I'm going to take out the elastic band. Let's see. Okay. So you guys, this is what we look like right now. So let's try and take back all the strands on my face. So if you're doing it for yourself, this is not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to, you know, lay down that way. Then the same goes for this part. It's supposed to be like this. So guys, I don't know. Do you think we should risk it? Is it worth it? Should we? Let's risk it. Got to be spray. Edge brush. Dryer. Oh, I'm giving Aquaman. <laughs> this is a clean install. Man, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> So since there's nobody to help me hold this down while I put the band, I just have to hold this for a few minutes, maybe one or two, and then tie it. Because I want this to really stay down, like so. So you guys, it's melt spray time. I had to go do this off camera. I'm sorry, I was supposed to show you guys, but it was just trying to frustrate me. I'm going to clean the brush I'm going to use to apply the melt spray. So it's just like this. Because I used it to, I don't know if you guys saw when I marked out this part and then shaded that part. So I'm going to get the melt spray. This melt spray is from Love Beauty. So I'm just going to spray a little in the container like this so i have a video on how um i have a video where i talked about five secrets on achieving a flawless frontal so you guys i'm going to leave it up there so you can go watch it and know the five secrets to achieving a flawless frontal so i'm just tapping my melt spray and applying it on the the lace so this will help the lace like vanish into my skin. 
So normally when I'm doing this on a client, I tell them to stay back like this. Well, I mean, let me try and see because I'm trying to do this in a way you guys can see what I am doing. So I just put the melt spray and then get my edge brush. So I'm going to use, um, is it how you use the melt spray or the got to be spray for this um, technique? So I'm, I like to spray on the brush and then take it backward. So this alone, we give it that brush effect. You know, when you apply gel on your hair and dry it, it makes it really flat. So this gives it that, that look. So when you apply the melt spray, you have to be very fast because the melt spray is liquid and it might pull the, the hair, the lace. So you have to be very fast and tie. So that's it. I'm going to get a wider band and then tie it. So this I've never done on myself before. Let's try and see. So I already put my um, argan oil and uh, this thing is too tight too. The argan oil and my Tresemme heat control, so it's curling time. So I'm going to get this, um, the metal control pins. If you guys are familiar with this, it's best for curling. So now let's curl. One, one more thing, I forgot to pack the hair. So I'm going to make a part. Then um, after that, I'm going to get my edge brush and then get the melt spray. So I'm going to be using the melt spray, like spray directly on the brush and then use it to like slick the edges. So then once I'm done with this, I'm going to then tie the hair down with my elastic band. So next up, I'm going to get my wax stick and then use it to like control the, um, the flyaways. So then once I'm done, I'm going to get my hot comb. So initially I was, was, I was trying to reach out to my hot comb, but I picked the curler first. I just had to use it. So then this is me using the hot comb to like flatten that part. So then once I'm done, I'm going to get my curler and then curl the hair. So I'm not going to like do a detailed tutorial right now. So, but I'm going to do one for you guys, like a very detailed video on how to curl a hair.
So um, I didn't curl everything because honestly my hands hurt. So I'm using my um, white tooth comb to comb the hair. So like I am looking at achieving a bouncy but wavy kind of curl. So I'm combing that one, that part backwards. I'm going to push it forward so it can give me the bangs. Ooh, this looks beautiful. So let's do the big, let's take out the band for the big reveal. So um, um, I don't know, but you guys leave it in the comments. Let's see, let, let, let's see what you have to say about this. I really would use your honest, thoughts on today's installation so and because i want to keep the bangs you know standing and that part flipped backward i'm going to get my got to be spray and then set the hair so but before i do that i'm going to spray on the hair and then use my rattle comb to like press down all the flyaways <laughs> god i feel so funky oh that's by the way So once I'm done setting the hair, I'm going to get my powder palette and then highlight the scalp. So I have a very detailed video on how to highlight the scalp, which I'll be going to leave up there so you guys can go watch it and learn how to do it. And that's it for today's video. I hope it was really insightful and you guys really enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're yet to do that. And also don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up. Like my other videos, watch them. Share them with your friends because you know like I always say, sharing is caring. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you always be notified whenever I post a video. So is there anything you'd want to see here on this channel? Please don't forget to leave it in the comments below and I promise you guys I'm going to come through. So I love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.